Hello, here is a presentation of the paper Likelihood Ratios for Out-of-Distribution Detection. This is a joint work with people in Google AI and DeepMind. Bacteria identification is an important problem in medical diagnosis. Given a DNA sequence, we would like to predict which bacteria it is from. This can be regarded as a classification problem. We train a classifier with high accuracy on cross-validation, but when we deploy the classifier to real data, we found it performs poorly. The reason is that a lot of real data belong to unknown bacteria, that is, those bacteria are not in the training data distribution. We call this out-of-distribution data, OOD. Surprisingly, the classifier can assign high-confident predictions to those OOD inputs that say, I don't know. So we need an accurate OOD detection method to ensure the safe deployment. One popular strategy is to use a generative model to model the input distribution and uh, evaluate the likelihood of new inputs. However, it has been observed that the generative model can assign even higher likelihood to all the inputs. For example, a generative model trained for fashion amnest can assign higher likelihood to amnest. We observe a similar failure mode on genomic data. So why is that? Here is an image from amnest. When we interpret the image, we humans can easily ignore the background and focus primarily on semantics. But the likelihood P of X calculates for all pixels in an image, including both semantics and background. Though we want to just focus on semantics, the likelihood can be dominated by the background. So we propose a likelihood ratio method. We train a background model on perturbed inputs. The right amount perturbation can corrupt the semantic structure in the data and capture only the background. Then we model the likelihood ratio between the full model and the background model, and the background component is cancelled out. Only likelihood for semantics remains. So the likelihood ratio is a background contrastive score that captures the significance of the semantics compared with the background. To qualitatively evaluate the difference between the likelihood and likelihood ratio, we plot their values for each pixel. Likelihood is dominated by the background pixels. As we can see, well, the likelihood ratio focuses more on semantic pixels. Applying our method to the genomic data set, we found likelihood ratio corrects for the background GC bias, and it achieved the state of art. To sum up, we found the raw likelihood can be confounded by the background. We developed likelihood ratios that correct for the background and outperforms the raw likelihood on OOD detection. The new benchmark dataset and the code is available at GitHub. Thanks for your attention.